No be small thing, they happen for this country. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. According to my people, my people go say, waiting rich, okay, okay, go rich, or okay, for. According to my northern people, they go say, waiting rich, Musa, go rich, Adamu. For other way again, you say, waiting rich, the big man, go rich, the small man. Not just matter of time. All these problems who they create, go rich everybody, not just matter of time. Just in case that the first time when we say you see me be this, just in case that the first time when we say they come across my video and you never subscribe to my channel, I say I better make you click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification button just in case I drop a new video. When I don't say waiting, they happen for this country plenty. And my duty now to the give una as if they take happen for some of them, I say when I don't get access to update information. And I want to hear that make a give una as if they happen. When I don't say just recently, uh, the president convoy the attack him for inside. Casina. You know, some people go they wonder, say, how come we say this bandit fit attack the president convoy? You know, I know say the president they plan to go to village for Casina, for Dora, for uh, uh, this Salah, where they come up. And I know say before him go, of course, the security go move to the community so that they go put things in order. According to waiting we hear, they say, as they, they go, then these uh, bandits ambush them. Well, no, according to what we hear, they say nobody lost life, but some people, you know, sustained injury. But at the end of the day, the security men, the gallant police people, both military, both the joint uh, security men, they able to overpower those uh, bandits and no life. They don't lose any life. Shout out to them. Shout out to, you know, the security personnel and all of that. And this thing, they make you, they wonder, say, to see how far this thing don't reach. You know, this thing where we say, would they, would they absorb? Would they pamper them? We no one take action. See how far they think they go. Because let's assume you say people lose their life. Or let's assume you say this bandit overpower these people. You know, waste these people for nothing. Waiting for really, really happen. Even as we talk about insecurity, make I stay Karuna come inside Abuja for Kuje. For Kuje, of course, when I know say Kuje is one of the, you know, top prisons for Nigeria. We hear say no be small attack, bandit attack that prison. No be different shooting, like, Different, different shooting. But if you can hear the sound now, Kuje prison is under attack, serious attack. You can hear the sound of bullets. This, are the, this is the sound of the bullet. Serious attack for how many minutes have they been shooting? Ah, God help Nigeria. And just recently, we also hear say, uh, the, the security personnel, they even use helicopter, they make sure say, they locate some of these uh, 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 prisoners, maybe say they escape during this uh, attack. At least one person has died and three others injured in an attack on the Koji Correctional Center in the Federal Capital Territory. During a visit to the facility after last night's attack, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Interior, Mr. Shahabu Bogori, explains that about 600 inmates escaped from the facility. Over 300 of them have been recaptured and some are on the way. He adds that the facility holds 994 inmates and that the attackers who he suspects are Boko Haram terrorists attack the facility to rescue their co-conspirators. Uh, somewhere just a little outside town here. Yeah. 
and you can you will have had the helicopters go very number number uh people head and they are locating the different locations where these people are. The military checkpoints are police checkpoints for here to have and from here to Syria, from here to town, everywhere, everybody is on high alert. And the inmates are being retrieved, they can actually speak. We don't know how many were killed among the attackers. But it's quite possible that they took their Indian and other casualties with them. But uh, on our side, just one casual, one uh, death and about three injuries. If we they watch this thing, if they see the way this thing they progress, nowhere they save, nobody they save. Because things supposed to don't happen to curtail all these things. But we're there for the system where we say the government no no really they do what they're supposed to do. Especially when it comes to this insecurity thing. With the pamparam, the thing they grow every day. With the pamparam, the thing they grow every day. It will come to a point where we say nobody go fit make an inch for this country. If we don't do what we're supposed to do, we don't see how, the way the thing they play out. We don't see from the attack of the convoy of the president. We also see the attack where they come for a whole uh, uh, prison waiting for inside FCT here. As we they still they talk about this one, just in case you like my video, as I may click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification button. Not be small thing happen for inside Lagos State. We say Lagos State government don't sack one uh, judge. According to waiting we hear, they say this particular complaint and carry the case, go meet this judge. They tell the judge they make him dissolve uh, the marriage between him and his wife and the judge grant this request and the judge uh, dissolve the marriage alongside the judge we don't know say the judge also get interest for the wife the judge can go ahead to congo marry uh, this guy wife and again come deny the guy custody of his children when the guy raise alarm when the guy begin one begin protest the judge carry the guy go lock him you understand so later on the guy come make some videos so we say the videos can't come out the videos can't the train at the end of the day we hear say they don't sack uh, Lagos State government, they look into the matter, they start the job. But we're here waiting the guy talk. But if I come back, we will continue as he be. My name is Uluye Miyayeno. I'm a Edu consultant number 44. I go on the road. I had an issue with my wife. She moved out from the house. She rented an apartment very close to my house. Your wife's and, name? Yeah? Your wife's name? Her name? Doni Rukayat Okunubi. Okay. You understand? We did uh, only we did only uh, introduction, but I was advised by her father that she invested invested in her business. I I put five million into her business to establish a school, Kids Kids Foundation number six Oyebanji, close or offer you look a better. So the the success of the business caused the problem in the family. I could not control her again. So this led to the problem whereby she moved and rented an apartment very close to my house at Governor's Road, and after ten months. Within two months, men have been sleeping with her. So after 10 months, I took her to court, thinking that I will be able to resolve this matter through alternative dispute resolution. The if Lagos State Social Development can take over the responsibility of the children, I will, I'm, I'm financially okay. I can take care of my children. I can put them in the body house. I want my children back. God bless you. Fellow Nigerian, please assist me. George, Dr. Ishola, Azaki Adeyeri, you already need to resolve my marriage and got that woman impregnated three months after the solution of the marriage. The woman is not carrying nine months pregnancy for that man. What really pay me that this in the rulings, this this man get obnoxious rulings and deny me access to my children that I can only see the children at the school premises once in a week. The same children now I wonder is custody. He took over the business and started for that woman. He denied me access from having access to my children. He impregnated the woman now and he still want to send me to jail. He has been using police to harass me. He brought police to my office, to my house last month, last and uh, last week, and the unit environment I was arrested, taken to Abatio and uh, Police Division, uh, Abatio Agege. We collect with collaboration, conspiracy with the DPO in town, CSP Sumanu. I was arrested overnight, detained, carried to court court semi as Ogba on the charges of assault that I have intention to kill this man. So I, was, I spent two days at Kirikiri. I was just released yesterday. As yesterday afternoon, the man brought another six police, police from uh, Ogba and from Chacha to come and arrest me. As a result of that, I had to escape. Presently, I cannot go home. I, I, I take a refugee in one of the hotels at uh, Ikeja. 
So what I'm saying, Nigeria, now, you should come to my rescue. That nobody is above the law. I want that man to be brought into the pool because he used his office to dissolve my marriage, and I want justice to be done. What I mean now, I want my children back because this man is a polygamist. He has three house wife. This woman now in question, Okunu be my ex-wife. Now this is the fourth wife. I don't want my children to to, to be under the custody of this man. It's like allow my children to go and play at Sambisa Forest. I don't want my children to live in a chaotic environment. That is what I'm saying. I want my children back. If I don't care. Welcome back. If you not see waiting to happen for this country, you don't know how to the reason now at all at all. From George, where we say they go give case, and George will be say come collect the guy wife became married. This is show unprofessionalism. I'm sure at a level where Lagos State Government take look, take sack the, the, the judge because the judge don't supposed to get any interference with you know the guy in between wife and all of that. But at the end of the day, we thank God say they don't sack him and we're gonna give you a more update as the news they unfold. Just in case you never subscribe to my channel, I say click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification button just in case I drop another video. My name is Lawrence. Okay, okay. Up to the next one.